I'm down to probably the last hour or two hours at most to finishing the Polk Total Station Ultralight. Once I'm done with it, I'm going to vacuum it up, clean it up, dust it off, take it up to my office and jump on the computer with the plants and start making the updates. I want to have it there so that I can measure everything and get everything just right. Hi, I'm Ron Polk and this is the Smart Wood Shop. Thanks for dropping in. I wanted to take just a minute, a break here from finalizing the, the Polk Total Station Ultralight to tell you how impressed I am with a new tool. I could have taken uh, a piece of wood up with my design to the shop up in um, Ferndale, uh, Fast Cap, where we've got the, the um, super high-end uh, machine that would, would do this for me. But I want to do it in the shop so that, uh, because I know that most people in the world don't have access to a CNC. If you do, that's great, you know. Uh, but if you want to do it yourself, there's a way to make it CNC quality. And that is with this PARF guide from UJK. And here in the US, uh, one of their suppliers, TSO, uh, they you know, saw that I was gonna do this and said, hey, we want you to try out this tool. It's this simple jig that uh, allows me to drill 20 millimeter holes with a Forstner bit, which is included, and uh, pins that drop into holes that you pre-drill using these two rulers they send you that these pins drop into and then you can take the drill bit that they provide and they also provide somewhere here um, a, a, a guide so that you can put this down and drill just moving it manually and drill this perfectly straight up and down hole as if you had a drill press. I've already shot the video of when I made all the rest of these holes um, how I use this system. What I'm doing now in the finalize is I'm adding a row of holes that are 32 millimeters off the edge as opposed to 96. So it's an additional row of holes. These are really not part of the Polk Total Station Ultralight. This is me thinking future. So I decided that since I'm here and set up, I'd go ahead and add this row of holes. And I haven't decided if I'm gonna put them on the plans or not, but I'm also, uh, on the plans, I have holes in the miter saw section running all the way out on the extensions as well. I've already drilled the holes using these uh, uh, rulers they have, and those are laid out all the way out to the edge, and the other one which is not on there laid out is there as well. And so I'm gonna go and march and do all of those. The guys at Parf Guide say it's near CNC accuracy. I say it is CNC accuracy every way I check with my fast cap tape measure that has metric and imperial on it. It's got the layout for the 32 millimeter system and the marks, and I'm able to check every one of these in every direction and square them, and no matter how I do it, I get the, it's perfect every time. After having used it so much, and then coming up with this idea here and having to use it a little different than it's designed to make these holes, you know, I'm just, thoroughly impressed and what I really am looking forward to is some of my jigs in the future uh, like my crosscut jig I'm going to make I'm going to be utilizing this to lay those holes out so they line up with these and I get that perfect machine square and then smaller jigs this is something I can um, drop in its tube slip it in you know somewhere in my uh, in the smart wood shop in the trailer and have it on the job and if I run into a situation where I need to manufacture some quick custom jig and I need some perfectly lined up holes. This is the kind of thing that I don't need to lay out a whole grid. I can lay out just a small section to square up, a small section to line up uh, and, and grab this out and make the holes perfect every time. So uh, take a look at this. I'll put a link uh, to uh, TSO in the description down below to, to the PARF guide. They have a lot of very, nicely made machine tools at TSO that, um, again, they're not there for the, the mass consumer, the Home Depot kind of thing you're gonna see. These are for the professional uh, that, that needs, you know, building cabinetry or uh, building uh, fine furniture, things like that, where you're gonna, you're gonna need this kind of precision. And I think for what 
they're providing the value is fantastic. So I'm going to finish this up and then on to finishing the plans up. And I promise you that the minute they're done and that, that, that I post them, I will be back down in the shop. I will make a video demonstrating the finished bench, how I use it, and tell any of the plans are available. Hey, thanks for dropping into the Smart Wood Shop. If you like these videos, be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell so you know when I drop a new video. Most important, share the channel with others to help me grow my subscriber base. I love sharing these ideas and the more people out there uh, consuming them, the, the more I like it. And also, if you want to support the channel besides purchasing a set of my plans, you can also use my Amazon link, which is in the video description down below as well. And there they'll give you the same price you get every day, but they'll share a little bit with us and that helps support the channel. Thanks for dropping in. Have a great day.